fact that John and Nicole asked to have their wedding at the home where John was raised uh, is really a, the greatest testament. John and Nicole started dating in high school at LaSalle Academy. I remember their first date. They went ice skating at Kennedy Plaza in Providence. John locked his keys in the car. And we had to go out there with a spare key so that he could get in and take his date home on time. I'm sure Nicole was thinking at that time, this boyfriend not gonna last too long. But here they are today, and love works in mysterious ways. Today we find ourselves standing next to Nicole on the most important day of her life, and there's nowhere else we'd rather be. We're each other's people, the first phone call, the honest truth, the biggest hugs. We can read each other's minds just by the look of a face, and we always know what's needed the most. When people ask how we met, we tell them we're dance friends. Now, growing up dancing together creates a different kind of bond. It's not like any kind of friendship. It's not like any other kind of relationship. Dance friends have their own unique pattern of independence and codependence, fierce loyalty and unwavering love. This type of relationship doesn't falter. Over the past decade plus of friendship, while the law has changed in our lives, our friendship has remained steady and grounding. It is made up of the ability to talk about anything, an unparalleled level of trust, and inside jokes that really no one finds funny, except for us. Nicole is one of the most fiercely loyal and loving people that we know. There's nothing that she won't do to care for her loved ones. She's someone who seems to know when and what you need, even before you do, and by the time you can think to even say it, she's already taken care of it. As we've transitioned to and through adulting, she's never failed to send a random card or gift when the going got especially tough. She's always there to give us advice, push us lovingly out of our comfort zones, and make sure that we advocate for ourselves as much as she advocates for us. John, we can't imagine anyone else by Nicole's side. Our first priority as best friends is to make sure that Nicole's partner is someone who is as strong an advocate and supporter for her as she is for everyone else. She's found all of that and more in you, John. Throughout the years, we've come to know how truly funny, caring, and thoughtful John is. He's also the most dedicated cat dad that we know <laughs> and has embraced, Nicole, embraced Nicole's friends and family as his own. Thanks for putting up with our sleepovers, our late night giggles, and pastime gossip, for understanding our unique relationship, and for always including us when you're planning something special. Nicole, you are and always will be our people. And John, I hope you know that you're officially our people now too. Nicole and John, you have found something truly special in each other. May you always find strength, comfort, joy, and laughter as you continue to grow together. Cheers to you and this next chapter of your lives together. We can't wait for all that the future holds. We love you. Peanut, my goodness, how I love you and I had the chance to share this with you. I just hope your, your worries stay small and your dreams stay big. You are a beautiful bride and an incredible young woman. They've given me so many reasons to be proud. But the proudest moment for me is to tell everyone that you're my daughter. Welcome, family, friends, loved ones. We gather here today surrounded by the beauty of creation and nurtured by the sights and sounds of nature to celebrate the wedding of John LaPointe and Nicole Almeida. As humans, we find ourselves often celebrating the past, be it a birthday, the fourth, Thanksgiving, or Christmas. Today, however, is special because not only are we here to celebrate the past, 
but also the present and the future. Let's start by celebrating the past, like the first time John and Nicole met at a high school party and were kicked out, and then romantically <laughs> spent the night in another person's basement. John snuggled close to Nicole that oh. night because he was cold. <laughs> Nicole's mom knew he'd be here today. After dating just five months and John was headed to BC, mom asked knowingly, are you two staying together? Nicole dismissed it, saying, I don't know. But her mom said, yes, yes you are. I hear you say goodnight and I love you every night. I know you'll be together. Fast forward to an acapella proposal on the front steps of LaSalle where it all began. And now, two cats and eight and a half years later, from that romantic basement bungle, we find ourselves here in this truly magical setting, surrounded by the people you hold closest to yourselves, closest to your hearts, to celebrate the here and now and look ahead at what's to come. Something timeless that transcends past, present, and future is love. Many have tried to define love. Many have tried to make sense of it. What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. <laughs> don't hurt me no more, sang Hathaway. <laughs> Jane Austen told us there are as many forms of love as there are moments in time. Picasso told us love is the greatest refreshment in life. Joseph Campbell told us love is a friendship set to music. Many have tried, but love cannot be defined nor written down, but you can feel it. John and Nicole could feel it when they first met. They felt it on their first date. They feel it now. We can all feel it in the air today, and you, Nicole and John, will continue to feel it and define what love means to you, because that's just the way love is. It's meant to be felt, not described. And even though we describe love in different ways, and even though love can look different from one person to another, we all know it when we see it, and we can see it here today. John, please repeat after me and hold hands. Nicole, I choose you to be my wife. Nicole, I choose you to be my wife. To live together and laugh together. To live together and laugh together. To love you with all my heart. To love you with all my heart. To share with you all my soul. To share with you all my soul. Until the end of our forever. Until the end of our forever. And Nicole. Please repeat after me. John, I choose you to be my husband. John, I choose you to be my husband. To live together and laugh together. To live together and laugh together. To love you with all my heart. To love you with all my heart. To share with you all my soul. To share with you all my soul. Until the end of our forever. Until the end of our forever. John, do you take Nicole to be your wife? Do you promise to love, honor, cherish, and protect her, forsaking all others? and holding only unto her forevermore? I do. And Nicole, do you take John to be your husband? Do you promise to love, honor, cherish, and protect him, forsaking all others, and holding only unto him forevermore? I do. As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. That I have chosen you. That I have chosen you. Above all else. Above all else. With this ring I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. Place it on his left hand. <laughs> and please repeat after me. As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. That I have chosen you. That I have chosen you. Above all else. Above all else. With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. Now tonight, we celebrate and look towards that future. To you, and Nic you, Nicole and John, towards your past, your present, and your future. And now, by the power vested in me by the Commonwealth of Massachusetts and the Universal Life Church, it is my honor and delight to declare you married. Go forth and live each day to the fullest. You may now seal your vows with a kiss.
I'd like to continue to welcome you to the backyard that stood as the foundation for John's and my relationship and the men we are today. While most millennials remain the butt of jokes, wanting more time for their hobbies and free stuff, John takes this one step further and makes my father pay for happy hours, making videos with his friends, and going on Facebook. The point of all this is John has proven to be an incredible and innovative entrepreneur. He's dedicated to building something great, piece by piece and over time. Where we sit and stand today is where we constructed a Little League baseball diamond. We would replicate the batting stances of every Red Sox roster team member. Immediately to my left is where we built a treehouse, complete with multiple levels, a malfunctioning drawbridge, and splinters. Lots and lots of splinters. And directly behind me, where the trees meet the field, was the final turn of our dirt bike racing circuit, and where I had to fish John out of the trees when he forgot to go break into that turn. Now dusting John off, making sure he had both arms and legs, and that he got back on his bike, was not only the right thing to do, it's what he deserves as the brother I love. It is tough to do justice to this backyard and how important and meaningful a bond it creates in those who spend time in it. That is why we were so incredibly happy when John started bringing Nicole to the backyard. Piece by piece and over time, John and Nicole have built incredible memories in this backyard. From pool days to lawn games, family dinners, and perperhaps most importantly, winning the silver ladle award for best soup. Even with split pea soup. <laughs> Our family has had a front row seat to the amazing relationship you two were building and how much your love grew. Nicole. You look absolutely incredible tonight. John is so lucky you have chosen to be his wife, and I speak for all of us when I say, we're so glad you're officially part of our family. John, Nicole, as you embark on married life and begin the next chapter in your relationship, it is my hope that you have your marriage as the foundation on which you can build new things, take them down to build even better things, and perhaps one day, as a result of this hard work, that you've done piece by piece and over time, you too might host a wedding for your children. Baby, oh, ooh, said nothing in it.